In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Forge mods for Minecraft 2025. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. When you load into the Minecraft launcher, make sure that you do select Minecraft Java Edition and from here, go ahead and load into the version of Minecraft you are trying to download Forge mods on. So for this video, we're going to be downloading Forge mods for the latest version of Minecraft, which at the time of recording this video is Minecraft 1.21.4. So I would go ahead and just select on that or alternatively, if you guys are trying to run Forge mods on a older version of Minecraft, Minecraft, then what you guys need to do is you need to go over here to where it says installations then go ahead and press on this button that does say new installation and if you say for example you want to go ahead and get a mod for Minecraft 1.16 by just searching on 1.16 and then you guys can go ahead and select on uh, release 1.16 or something like that but uh, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just load into the installation by going over here to where it says play and then pressing on the green button that does say play because in order to download mods on a version of Minecraft you first need to load into that version of Minecraft without any mods. All right, guys, and here we are loaded into Minecraft 1.21.4. So once you went ahead and loaded into the Minecraft version, go ahead and just close out of Minecraft. And from here, we can move on to the next step. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment, and then it is going to take you to a page that looks like this. Over here, it will also provide you with a written guide showing you guys how to actually download Forge mods. However, in this page, you're able to find all the links, all the files that you need in order to download Forge mods all in one place. So you don't need to worry about gathering resources or links from other places so anyways guys we just did step number one so that means step number two is to actually download forge so in order to download forge all we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing on this link over here that says visit and then it will say official forge website so go ahead and just press on that and then it is going to take you to a page that looks like this now from here you guys want to go ahead and actually download forge for the version of minecraft you're trying to get mods on so remember we are working with minecraft 1.21.4 so that means i will go ahead and select over here which is minecraft versions one of 21.4 but if you have like an older version then all you need to do is just look for it on um, in the left menu but anyways that's all you want to do is you want to go over here and press on installer just like so and then it is going to take you to a page that looks like this and do not press any of the advertisements guys do not press anything all you want to do is you want to go to the top right and then press on this red button that does say skip so go ahead and press on that and then there you go It'll now install the forge installer yep here it is now for clarity purposes i'm actually going to go ahead and drag out the forge installer file to my desktop just to make things a bit easier to actually visualize and see however you don't need to do this but in my opinion it's just much easier and if you guys are wondering how do i actually find this file uh maybe you have a different web browser and it's not actually showing up over here what you could always do is you could actually open up the file explorer and then inside the file explorer all you're gonna do is just look under downloads and then the forge installer should be over there Anyways, guys, the next thing you want to do is you want to return to the website. And the next step is to actually install Java 21. So if you guys didn't know, you actually need Java in order to run jar files, in order to load into shaders, mods, all that good stuff. So this is really essential, especially if you're trying to mod anything with Minecraft. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on over here where it says download Java 21 from the official Oracle official website. And then it should take you to a page that looks like this. So all you want to do is you want to scroll down. Then you want to make sure that you do select on JDK 21 because because in order to actually run this, you will need Java 21. So let's go ahead and press on that. And then from here, go ahead and select on what operating system you are using. So we have Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. I am personally on a Windows, so I would go ahead and select on this. And then I would go ahead and install the x64 installer. And basically, once you download Java, you're able to run jar files. You're able to go ahead and basically run mods, shaders, all that good stuff. However, if you're running into any issues when downloading Java, one thing that you could do in order to attempt to fix it is actually run the jar fix. The jar fix is an executable file that will basically link all of your java files back to java and it's supposed to like help you out so in order to actually find this all you gotta do is just look up jar fix download like so and then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on this second link over here so once you're over here in the jar fix you want to go ahead and press on this link uh, where it says jarfix.exe and then it is going to run the file and it is going to attempt to fix java on your device but keep in mind you only need to do this if you're running into issues when installing java if you downloaded java and everything is running smoothly you do not need to worry about jar fix this is only for people that are running into difficulty all right guys so now what we need to do is we need to go back to the website and let's go to step number four which is to download a forge mod now there's plenty of free websites that you guys could utilize in order to find free forge mods however the most common ones are curse forge and mod rinth so let's go ahead and select on curse forge right over here and make sure that mods is selected and then over here it is going to give you a list of all of the different mods that you guys could actually install however i actually want you guys to go to the left menu and then underneath where it says mod loaders make sure that you do select on forge 
also where it says game versions you want to make sure you select on the right game version so remember we are working with minecraft 1.21.4 so i would go ahead and select on minecraft 1.21.4 and this will basically filter out all of the mods that are incompatible with forge or with our minecraft version so uh whenever you do download a mod you need to make sure that number one it does work on forge and number two it actually is available for the game version of minecraft that you're trying to run mods on because not every mod will run for every single version. So, okay, now that we got both our mod loader and our game version, let's go ahead and look for a mod to actually install. All right, for this video, I think I'm gonna be installing the Not Enough Animations mod over here. So all you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and just press on the mod that you're trying to install. And then it should bring you to a page that looks like this. Typically, it is gonna provide you with some images and some like features of this mod. But all you wanna do is you wanna go to the right menu over here where it says game versions, and you wanna go ahead and search for the game version of Minecraft. So again, we are working with with minecraft 1.21.4 and i did locate it however all you need to do is press on view all and then it will give you a list of all the different versions and all you got to do is just find the version that you're trying to run so all we're going to be doing now is we're going to be looking over here where it says mod loaders and you want to make sure that forge is actually an option so over here it does say forge so that means we could actually go ahead and use it do not download neo forge or do not download fabric because that will not work it has to be forge and of course you want to make sure that it does line up with your game version but anyways guys once you went ahead and located the file all you want to do is you want to go to the right and then select on these three like dots over here then go ahead and press on download file just like so and within a couple seconds it will now install your mod so let's go ahead and drag it out to my desktop you want again just to make things a bit easier to actually visualize and see all right so the next step is to now install forge using java so let me actually show you guys this visually because i think it's easier to uh, you know look at it visually so uh what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and locate the forge installer which is this file right over here then we're going to go ahead and right click on it then we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we see this option that says open with and if your device does have java which it should if you did download java uh, you know beforehand then you will now notice that there will be an option that says java it'll say java tm platform se binary so all you need to do is you need to go ahead and select on that and then it is going to open up a menu that looks like this so make sure that install client is actually selected and over here is just going to give you like the directory uh of where forge is going to be installed on your device so once you confirm those two things go ahead and just press on okay and now it's going to download the libraries and it's now going to start creating the forge installation on your minecraft so just wait for a little bit it really shouldn't take too long but just be patient because it will definitely be worth it all right guys and now we'll say successfully install so go ahead and just press on okay the next thing we're going to be doing now is we're going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, guys, when you load into Minecraft, make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected. Then we're going to go to the top menu and we're going to go ahead and select on installations where it says version. So this section over here, make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on because Minecraft for Forge is considered a modded version of Minecraft. So it's really important that you have that turned on. And then you want to go ahead and just select on new installation and then look for Forge. However, you should have it over here as well in the installations list. But if you don't see it for whatever reason, make sure that mod is turned on and where it says new installations just go ahead and look for forge and then the version of minecraft you are actually trying to uh, get mods on but anyways guys now that we have our forge installation here all we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing on this folder icon the installations folder let's go ahead and open that and then it is going to open up a bunch of folders but the only one that you need to focus on is the folder called mods however if you do not have a mods folder do not panic because you could just make one by right clicking inside of the folder then pressing on new and then pressing on folder and then make sure you call it mods in all lowercase because it will only work if it's all lowercase guys all right guys so all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and select on mods and then it's going to open up like a folder so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and dragging and dropping the mod that we did install inside of this folder so uh we did download the not enough animations mod which is right over here so i'm just gonna go ahead and drag in drop it just like so and once you're done with that you can go ahead and close out of the mods folder go back to the minecraft launcher go over here to where it says play make sure that the forge installation is actually selected then go ahead and press on play press on this box that says i understand then go ahead and press on play one more time and from here it is now going to start opening up minecraft for forge where you should be able to go ahead and play with your mods all right guys and here we are so you will notice that in the bottom left it will say forge beta over here and it will say that there's some mods already loaded in so let's go ahead and actually load it into a brand new world and let's see if it actually did work as you're able to tell this mod actually does work because if we try to go ahead and climb up this ladder it will give us like new custom animations which are honestly really really cool so again you can go ahead and just download any mod that will work for forge it doesn't have to be this one so yeah guys if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe see you later french fries